when we engage in the political process, everybody knows we get a seat at the table. And we stand here today in an effort to capture the momentum we have, because this is just the tip of the iceberg. And we wanted to institutionalize that power through the launch of this project. Um, so it's time to, for us to develop the, the national narrative that Latinos are critical to the political process and that Latino values are American values. So what we're gonna do with the Latino Victory Project is we wanna build political currency. And uh, not only with Latino registered voters, but also with Latino donors. And we're gonna focus building a pipeline of Latino leaders, future Latino leaders. And I want to say to each and every one of you that we will not stop until we achieve the one office that we have yet to achieve, the Oval Office. So I am pleased to be here today to announce the creation of the Latino Victory Project, a project that is intended to help create the next generation of Latino leadership, elected and appointed, and to change these statistics. If you look at the numbers behind us, there's 53 million Latinos living here in the United States. Uh, of the 435 seats in Congress, only 28 are occupied by Latinos, and only three Latinos are in the Senate. So for us, these, these numbers clearly aren't representative of today's American landscape, and we want the political landscape to match voter identities. Um, it's a stark vision. Um, and it's an audacious vision, and it's, an, it's a vision that we have to attain if we truly want our voices heard, not only on election day, but equally important, we want our voices heard in the policy debates that happen beyond election day. My father used to tell me that the movement of a people began with the steps of one person, and that's what we're here about today. I didn't know back then, almost 50 years ago, that it was everyday citizens that could make the difference. That when people understood that the future was in their own hands, when they were willing to speak truth to power, when they would give voice where others had no voice, they could change the direction of a community or the direction of a nation. And at the Latino Victory Project, a signature program that we will launch this year is called The Firsts. And this is what Eva was talking about a minute ago when she talked about developing a pipeline of donors. We want to identify 100,000 of these firsts, the first lawyers, engineer, college grad, um, and build a pipeline of donors who are going to fuel our movement for political change, and they're going to fund the movement for political change. I've lived long enough to see my cousin Willie Velasquez say, su voto es su voz. I've lived long enough to see a president adopt our saying, si se puede. I've lived long enough to say no peso, no say so. <laughs> and I've lived long enough to understand that demography is not destiny. Uh, I, it's never healthy for democracy when you have such a large segment that's voting in low numbers. And so this will help that. A lot of us think that uh, campaigns or candidates will do this kind of work. But campaigns have limited resources, you know, except for a few presidential campaigns. Other campaigns have very limited resources, and they are going after the people who already go vote and who are consistent voters, and they are basically ignoring everybody else. I think it is still one door at a time. You know, we have to really build the relationship with the community so that folks know really who's out there fighting for them. This is a huge step forward for us and uh, I think it also what we're seeing is the, uh, the growth of the Latino community, the maturity of the Latino community and part of that is getting good candidates, part of that also is supporting those candidates and the other part of that is making sure that people come out and vote.